Your next exercise is going to be practicing two-point perspective below, on, and above the horizon line. So remember, this is our horizon line, and in two-point perspective, we need two vanishing points. So I've put one here and one here. You'll notice on this horizon line, I drew it a little bit lower so I have more space at the top of my page because I'm gonna need that for this exercise. So the first thing I wanna do is draw a cube below the horizon line. So down here, we're gonna start with that leading edge. Right here. And then we'll take a ruler and make the connections. This one here is below the horizon line. So when we finish drawing it, you can see the top of the cube. So let's make the cube this size. Another one. All right, so if you're able to see the top of the cube, there's a special name for that. Let me draw these lines in here. We can see down on the top of the cube. That's called a bird's eye view. Because you can imagine that you're a bird flying above and you can see on the top of it. Now, if you're gonna do one on the horizon line, let's put one right here, okay? It's gonna look a little different. You'll have your leading edge. Then you're gonna take those same lines to the vanishing point, like this, below, and at the top. Like this. Okay, and then we have to cut the edges off just like we did before. So we're gonna use our triangle here and here. And in this case, we have to erase out our horizon line because this cube is blocking the view of the horizon line. So that little horizon line in that space goes away. Okay, so this view right here is just a straight ahead view right on the horizon line. Now we can do one up in the sky. So same kind of thing, we'll make our leading edge like this. We're gonna take the line down to the vanishing point this way. And because I don't wanna draw on my other cube, I'm going to just draw part of it like that. This one, I'll do the whole thing so you can see it. And then we'll do this other one over here. Okay, same situation. I'm gonna decide how big I want it. Oops, I have to do it down here. Okay, we're gonna take those to the opposite points. There. And again, this one, I'm gonna line it up but because I don't wanna draw on my other cube, I'm just going to go part way, okay? And now you can bring in your triangle and that allows you to finish up right here. And now you have a cube that's above the horizon line. This cube here, we're looking up underneath it. So we call that a worm's eye view. like that. So your challenge is to create cubes below the horizon line, on the horizon line, and above the horizon line in two-point perspective.